Hi there. Uh, a while ago I promised to make a video of uh, trigger designs or basic trigger design. And today I got a, a very nice mail from one of my subscribers. And that inspired me to make this clip. Uh, unfortunately I can't find my uh, tripod so um, I'm gonna try to uh, attach my camcorder to this candlestick. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm gonna start out by removing the the barrel so that I won't knock down my camera. As you can see, this is a separate um, trigger housing on this receiver. Uh, I've also built receivers with where the trigger housing is a part of the actual receiver. So here's the trigger unit. Um, this is a very basic trigger. It has two moving parts. Uh, this piece here touches the rear end of the striker. So when the striker is retracted, it lifts the uh, it lifts the sear. So it keeps the striker from moving forward and when the trigger is pushed this is what happened once again striker retracted cocking the gun and fire oh maybe missed it so. um, yeah, well, I'm gonna open it up for you. See how many springs that's gonna come flying here. Or small brass bushings. Try to keep everything in place when I open it up here, so it will hopefully be easier to understand how it works. Perfect. Here it is. I'm gonna push the pins in a bit again. Excellent. Ooh. I think I'm gonna need to keep my thumb on it. Anyway, uh, as you can see, basically two moving parts in here. The sear and the... Uh, I don't really know what to call this. Maybe this is also called sear. Anyway, when the striker is retracted to cock the gun, it lifts the front And then this piece here keeps the striker from moving forward. And when the trigger is pulled, this is what happens. Here's a small set screw. I think it's I think you have a piece of piece of a drop of paint on it just to keep it in place there. So I'm not gonna turn it for you, but uh, that screw there adjusts the, the length of of the creep or how 
I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs> the uptake. So in order to get a shorter trigger pull you can just adjust it. Screw there. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a small spring in there that pushes this part in that direction. And there's also a spring there. That aids in, you know, uh, letting the front move downwards when you pull the trigger. Okay. I think I need to put the side plate on again here, otherwise the parts are gonna come flying. Almost there. Perfect. And there are, there are actually better triggers or better trigger designs, but I don't want to step on any toes. And showing up, showing someone else's work, someone else's work. I'm a bit tired also. <laughs> so there it is. A very simple basic trigger. And as you can see this part here is where the where the sear is touching the, the striker. It has this angle to it. Um, and that is just so it moves out of the way of the striker is more easily. I think I need to make a drawing. Okay, so here's a simple drawing of how the pieces fit together. Um, here's the trigger, sear, striker, striker spring, and as you can see this angle here is needed in order to um, to let the striker to let it off when you pull the trigger. Uh, because if you had a um, if you had a sharp angle here Things. If the parts looked like this, here's a striker, and then you had a sharp 90 degree angle there. When you pull the trigger, that would cause a lot of friction there, and uh, that would give a, a rather poor trigger pull and make it hard to to release the striker. So, so make an angle there. Um, yeah, well, that's pretty much it. I think it's one of the springs. Uh, the other spring and adjustment screw. Uh, yeah, well, and as you can see, when you retract the striker, it touches this part here, flips up the sear, uh, and it engages this little piece here. Uh, yeah, very basic. As and, as and as I said, there are way better trigger designs. Um, I suggest you have a look and um, if you there are manuals available for some commercially available rifles that actually shows how a real <laughs> good trigger is designed so have a look around okay thanks for watching I just realized I had all the parts here, so I might as well show you uh, <laughs> with the actual striker <laughs> uh, how the parts relate. This is a striker, striker spring. The striker spring goes in there. This striker is fitted with a piece of uh, piece of Delrin up in the front here, where it hits the valve stem, and that is just to make make the action a bit. A bit more quiet. Um, okay. So here it is. I'll try see if I can get this on the camera. Um, the rear of the striker is now touching the sear. 
and as you see if it when it's pulled back it flips up engages and when you let go of the bolt handle it moves forward a few millimeters and then it catches the sphere catches the striker but when the trigger is pulled it flips down and the striker goes forward okay that's all thank you very much